Hey YouTube, it's I See You, and today I have an absolutely awesome update to discuss with you guys pertaining to not only jailbreaking, but also iOS 8.1.1, Apple's latest public firmware. All right, and with that said, there are a few things that I need to preface before we get into it, but if you're one of my regular viewers, there will actually be an annotation on the screen now that you can click to go ahead and skip ahead toward the more important information if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. So having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Safari and we're going to get straight into it. If for whatever reason you happen to miss any of my recent coverage from my untethered jailbreak tutorial utilizing the latest iteration of Pangu on both Windows as well as Mac OS X or my updates concerning not only iOS 8.1.1, the latest public firmware as of recording this video, but also iOS 8.2 beta, then just be sure to navigate to my channel. You can do so if you're on the main page for this video simply by clicking my channel name down below. And once you're completely caught up, you can go ahead and proceed with this jailbreak update. Also, if you guys want additional information and updates concerning not only iOS 8.1.1 and 8.2 beta 1, but also their change logs and some other details surrounding Apple's latest firmware release, then just be sure to check out Best Tech Info. I will have a couple of links down below in the more info to some pertinent articles. And with that said, let's go ahead and proceed and discuss today's awesome update. So in a rather interesting and certainly unexpected announcement, famed hacker I Hate Snow officially confirmed that he's dabbling in the creation of a new jailbreak 8.1.1 utility. Now, as the majority of you are likely aware at this point, earlier this week on Monday, Apple released iOS 8.1.1 to the masses and in turn effectively delivered their Pangu jailbreak patch to millions of iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch owners. Unfortunately, the firmware itself is a relatively minor update, addressing only oddities and improving performance on older devices, being the iPad 2 and iPhone 4S, both of which will actually be centerpieces of today's jailbreak update. To make matters more interesting though, Apple seeded iOS 8.2 beta 1 to registered iOS developers yesterday, which merely includes integration for the far off Apple Watch, at least for now. Like iOS 8.1.1, the new 8.2 beta also includes Apple's quote remedy, for lack of a better term, for the vulnerabilities Pangu exploited to achieve an untethered jailbreak in their latest iOS 8 through 8.1 utility. Now while iOS 8.1.1 is too minor of a firmware to warrant the use of additional exploits, which would essentially burn through valuable vulnerabilities that could otherwise be significantly more effective on a major release like the forthcoming 8.2 to update, once additional features are rolled in and it's released to the public, that doesn't mean it's not worth testing from a developer's standpoint. So as previously stated, iOS 8.1.1's main intention, aside from its covert goal of knocking Pangu out of commission on the latest public firmware, is to improve the speed and overall performance of the two oldest devices still supported by iOS 8, being the iPhone 4S and iPad 2. And interestingly, the two aforementioned devices, in addition to the iPad 3 or third generation iPad, have been successfully jailbroken, untethered by I Hate Snow, the creator of the previously popular Snowbreeze jailbreak utility that allowed for the creation of custom IPSWs. So releasing a simple video demonstrating his work, I Hate Snow has apparently, quote, been working on this since last Friday with another hacker. Furthermore, I Hate Snow detailed their latest tool employs the use of quote new research performed by both hackers, which isn't boot ROM related, unfortunately. For those of you who are wondering why the aforementioned fact is unfortunate, to give the simplest explanation possible, a boot ROM exploit would essentially allow for the creation of new tethered jailbreak utilities regardless of the firmware, as said exploits are impossible to patch by Apple without releasing entirely new hardware. Also, here comes another disappointing part. At the moment, the hacker's latest rudimentary jailbreak is limited to 30 pin devices, those without support for Apple's lightning cable, being the iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and the iPad 3, as alluded to previously, quote, due to no serial over lightning. Finally, I Hate Snow explicitly states that he doesn't have plans of releasing a utility to jailbreak 8.1.1 on any device. However, in light of iOS 8.2 Beta 1's release, 
the hacker mentioned that he'll quote, look into it after he catches up on school related tasks. Now, for those of you questioning whether you should update to the latest public firmware 8.1.1, definitely don't. Neither Pangu nor I Hate Snow will come to the rescue of those who are stuck on the relatively minor firmware until a more substantial update is released by Apple. Again, possibly 8.2 or even 8.3. Now, at this point, it's also possible that the evaders may make their grand re-entrance into the jailbreak scene in the foreseeable future, but I'm going to save that topic for a subsequent video in the days to come, so just be sure to stay tuned. Remember, it's not too late to jailbreak utilizing Pangu for iOS 8. Simply follow my in-depth and thorough jailbreak 8.1.1 tutorial utilizing Pangu, and of course, that can be found on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube via an annotation form, as well as on my channel. Keep in mind though, it doesn't function on 8.1.1, and for an explanation on that, then just be sure to check out my video coverage discussing iOS 8.1.1. Now overall, this is incredibly exciting news as it indicates that there's still hope for a jailbreak life post 8.1.1. Of course, as the situation develops in the days and weeks to come, I will keep you guys completely updated here on my YouTube channel. So just be sure to stay tuned. And if you aren't already subscribed, just click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name. Uh, now, I hope you guys like this video. It's just an update and an exciting one at that concerning the next untethered jailbreak. And if you did, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And if you're interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and electronic devices, then just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. After tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app, and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply earn points by downloading sponsored apps and referring friends for even more, and then redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, now that's it for this video, guys. Remember, an exciting update concerning iOS 8.1.1 and the next untethered jailbreak. I will keep you guys completely notified of every development along the way. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create new videos or even release other ones pertaining to upcoming products like the Apple Watch, then just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.